Leon says, I haven't been home for nine months. I have to get back. I don't know what's been going on in my kingdom in my absence. Do you understand how I feel? You have your own family, of course you understand how I feel. I miss my family. <laughs> and I feel like I've outstayed my welcome. Although I thank you for your hospitality, and as ever, I feel like your house and everything in it is as much mine as it is yours. Look, we've known each other almost all our lives. And you know too that what's mine is yours. And when you come to Bohemia and return the compliment, you'll be welcomed as a brother. But I can't stay. I'm leaving tomorrow and there is nothing you can say that will make me change my mind. So it's true. You're off. I am. You want to see your son? I do. I understand. And I'm worried about what's going on in hope while they're away. Nothing, I'm sure. How are you sure of them? Look how happy you've been while you've been here with us. That doesn't suggest that King you has anything to worry about. That's a very good thing, aren't we? I'm sure you can stay one more week. I told you nothing is possible. What about us? Back. When? Soon. He's going to miss you so much. I'm going to back himself. How can you say that? You know he can't. You know he's useless. He's like a baby. Look, a lot can change in violence. I feel like I have to go back. Camillo. Camillo told you? 
I'll tell you, even though it's none of my business. Tell me what? Oh, your business for that matter, but... Go on then. Camillo called in on Polixenes and said, I've been ordered to murder you. Camillo said that? Yeah. And what did Polixenes say? Who by? And Camillo said, by the king. What for? He thinks Polixenes was touching the queen inappropriately. Oh, is that what it's about? What did I just say? So did he murder him? Well, they spoke about it for a long while. Really? Listen to me! They spoke about it for a long while, about how it, that was the best thing to do. No. And the general upshot of the conversation was that Camillo didn't want to. And you were there, were you? He didn't want to kill him, but at the same time, the king had been had ordered him to, so... Yeah, between a rock and a hard place. What? You know that scene. I'm talking about murdering. This is serious, about poisoning. I know it's serious. So what did happen? They ran off. They ran off? To Bohemia. Okay, and soon enough it'll become common, common knowledge, so... Well, you know the king is going to interpret them running away as them admitting their guilt. misguided and wrong. You're being paranoid. Things aren't as you see them. It's important that you understand that. I have come on behalf of the Queen who you have locked up and I have brought with me your daughter who was born into a prison cell. I ask that you give her your blessing. She is yours. And I am no less honest when I say that as you are mad and you are mad. You're paranoid, but this isn't who you really are. Look at her. She's yours. Maybe if you just held her, you'd know. Pick her up. Please, just take her. <laughs> she looks like you, as does your son. She's a very small version of you. Look at her frown. Her lined forehead. She looks troubled. Her eyes, her nose, her lips, her hands, her nails, fingers, they're all versions of your eyes, your nose, your frown. You frown and look troubled. Why? What do you have to be troubled about? You need to understand nothing is going on and then your frown will fade. And when you hold your daughter, her frown will fade too. I won't call you a tyrant even though you are and you act like one. It's a scandal and I don't mind saying that. Do what you want with me, I don't care. But I'm going to leave her here your daughter here and I want you to pick her up, look at her, for she is yours. She is you, your heir. I'm leaving her. I'm going to put her here and go. I'm going.
You are accused of treason, Hermione. Your crimes are numerous and heinous. You committed adultery with Polixenes and carried his bastard to term and gave birth to it. You plotted with Camillo and Polixenes to kill the king, and when your intentions were discovered and in order for him to escape the punishment, you will suffer. You plotted with Camillo and with Polixenes to aid the two of them to flee. You are not chaste and true. You love somebody else when you were promised to your husband the king. You love Polixenes not as your friend, not as your husband's friend, but in a way that is corrupting. These charges have been brought against you, and the oracle will confirm them. Hermione is chaste, Polonixes blameless, Camillo a true subject, Leontes a jealous tyrant, his innocent baby truly begotten. The king shall live without an heir until that which is lost is found again.